I think the advantage of this drug is uh, uh, that it's shown a very good uh, benefit profile in terms of relapses, uh, deterioration in neurologic status, uh, and MRI, which is a surrogate of disease activity. Uh, the other side of the coin is the safety profile, uh, which so far is, is, is quite good. It's only a two-year study, and we have to monitor the drug uh, prospectively, but at this point in time, it has a very acceptable risk profile, which means a very good risk-benefit profile. Uh, I think the other uh, advantage of drugs like cladribine or oral drugs is that they can be administered by mouth. It's, it's not as onerous as taking injections and carrying needles and, and syringes when you go traveling and, and that kind of thing. Some people have needle phobias. And, and another advantage, uh, potentially, of, of cladribine is that you don't have to take it every day. You take it for a week. A month later, you take it again for a week. Uh, and then you have a long period where you don't have to take it at all. This is a disease that affects people uh, that are usually in the, between 20 and 40. Initially, it can occur in children as well. And, you know, this is a time of life when people are looking forward to the joys of life, uh, uh, raising children, being married, getting new jobs, uh, the exciting times. And, uh, you know, historically, this has been a, a real a problem for patients to face when they're told they have MS and, and they know what the prognosis might be. Now I think there's an opportunity to look forward to a better prognosis.